Hey YouTube, this is John Hammond, more Pico CTF 2018. This challenge is called Recovering from the Snap for 150 points in the Forensics category. Uh, it seemed like a lot of people struggled with this, or at least I thought I saw a lot of questions about it just kind of flying around. I guess I didn't have too much of an issue with it. Uh, maybe I just, I, I, I don't know, maybe I just tried something different and was it seemed clear to me, but I've got the file downloaded right here. It's animals.dd, or whatever that may be. Uh, so I run file on it, and I say that, okay, it's a DOS, master boot record, boot sector, code offset, this crap, blah, blah, blah. At that point, I, I, I see it's some kind of file system, and I could deal with mounting it or trying to handle it or some other stuff, but at that point, I didn't really care. I knew this is a forensics challenge, so I thought I'd go for and run my usual forensics, like low-hanging fruit tools on it. So the first thing I reached for is Foremost, because it's pretty effective, and I went into Output, checked out what we got here. Looks like a lot of JPEGs. Cool. Maybe I could carve out files without having to mount the file system or deal with it or crap like that. And I get pictures of cute animals. Look at this puppy. He's adorable. This... This fox? That is a fox, right? I don't know why. I don't know why I'm hesitant about that. Little frog here. Giraffe. Uh, me. <laughs> bunny. Also bunny. And there we go. There's the flag. It just pops right out. Pico CTF. The snap happened. So maybe I. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe the the foremost tool is not commonly well known. Maybe it is. But I got it just like that. So. I don't think it was that difficult of a challenge, but maybe it's just knowing your toolkit, knowing your arsenal, knowing things that can make your life easier, and maybe that just comes with playing a little bit more or just doing stuff. I'm sure, I think we could have gotten this with Binwalk, but whatever the case may be, that is how I solved that challenge. So I'll X-clip this flag, go ahead and submit it, and we're moving. Sweet. Let's mark that challenge as complete. And let's move on. So, not too hard on that one. Next challenge is called Admin Panel for 150 points. Also a forensics challenge. It says, we captured some traffic logging in the Admin Panel. Can you find the password? So you can download this file. Again, I already have. Um, I don't know what log.txt is. Whatever. Let's check out this file because it is a PCAP file. So that is a packet capture. You can open that in Wireshark if you don't have Wireshark installed. Pseudo apt install Wireshark, blah, blah, blah. But it's the best tool for looking at PCAPs manually anyway. So... I opened it up without actually supplying the file, my bad. And you'll see a lot of HTTP requests, and you'll note them because of their, in, they're green. Um, so you can explore each of them, and you'll notice that the packet information is listed here in the column, and you'll see they were trying to make get requests to some kind of page. There's some interesting ones, though, because you'll see a post to a login request, a get to an admin page, so we can follow that TCP stream and explore uh, the original request, right, uh, the clients that's sending it in red, and then what the server responds with in blue. So this is their response. This is what the page returns to them. So it says, welcome to the website. If you were the admin, you would be able to see all your settings here. Neat. Uh, peculiar, but at least we kind of get an inkling that, okay, at, at that at that packet or at that communication in the server's uh, conversation, that point in the conversation, you can see that later on there will probably be something happening referring to maybe another login or maybe viewing another admin page. So I see this post login, and I figured, like, well, that, it doesn't have any get admin after that, so I figured, well, let's explore what that packet is. Let's follow that TCP stream. And again, you can see red clients and blue the response here. The interesting thing is, posting this login, the variables that they're trying to post or supply to the web page are given as arguments here. So you can see user is admin, and password is the flag. Pico CTF, not secure, blah, blah, blah. An interesting tidbit is that this is just HTTP, right? Not HTTPS. It's not encrypted or anything, so the responses and stuff and the requests that we're seeing across the wire are in plain text. So what we could potentially do is just go ahead and run strings on this data PCAP, and you'll get all the information that you would have had otherwise, at least visible in Wireshark. So what we can do is go ahead and use our magic grep to look for the file format. Let's see if we can get Pico CTF with our regular expressions, and just like that, the flag pops out. So, kind of a neat technique, and honestly, I did that before even opening up the Wireshark, like, literally before even opening the PCAP and Wireshark, just because that's a quick and easy thing, good thing to do, right? So, let's create a get flag script with just that, and we're good to keep rolling. Things to note, especially when you're handed a PCAP, it, like, strings is, is, is very quick if you're just going to be doing, like, simple analysis or just trying to find a needle out of a haystack, you know what I mean? 
Let's mark that challenge as complete. Oh, didn't need to use the curly braces because I was supplying another argument, but that is done. Let's actually go ahead. Do I have it? Uh, crap. Let's get the flag out of that and submit. Nice. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You're the best. I am grateful for each and every one of you. And I would be more than happy to have more of you. <laughs> uh, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. You'll get your name up in lights uh, added to this list. I should make some kind of thing where your name just flashes lights in different epileptic colors. That'd be, that'd be cool. Please subscribe. Uh, $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to anything that I release on YouTube. So videos that I record, uh, hopefully kind of backlogged and, and ready to be released uh, gradually on a daily upload schedule that I may give to YouTube over time. Uh, if you want the content right when it's ready, right when it's hot, that's the best way to do that. Uh, I've got to get better at kind of preparing a lot of content. Right now I am kind of in a funk, but that's my fault. I'm just a dude and, you know, life gets in the way. So I appreciate your support no matter what it is, and I'm, and I'm super grateful for it. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server, link in the description. Cool CTF community, place full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. Words. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop recording, guys. Thanks. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Hope to see you on Patreon. Bye.